This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a RAID configuration on a Dell LSI 9361 ADI controller. Um, so, um, in this video, we're, we're not going to show you how to actually physically install the hardware. Um, we did that in another video, so if you need to learn how to do that, check out that other video. Um, but we're going to show you how to create a RAID configuration. Um, and so let's go through the minimum drives uh, per RAID configuration. So if we need to do, if we want to do a RAID 0, we need at least one drive. Um, you can read combines no drives with zero redundancy. So you could put up to like, you know, four, four terabyte drives and it would, it would basically combine them together, but there would be no redundancy. If one fails, you still lose that data. Um, you can do a RAID 1 that requires two drives that will mirror the drives. So... Uh, if one drive fails, the other drive will pick up the slack until you replace the, the first drive. You got RAID 5, that will be striping, um, which gives you a little bit of more redundancy. So if one drive fails, you, you can run with two until you replace the third. RAID 6, that's double parity striping, so you need a minimum of four drives for that. And RAID 10 is what we're going to do in this video, and that is a minimum of four drives. That combines disk striping and mirroring at the same time. So... We like that configuration because it gives us more redundancy and, and typically more performance. So uh, this is uh, this is post when you turn your system on after installing that LSI Mega Ray controller. Um, the, it's the 9361 8i, as you can see. Um, in post, you're going to see uh, this screen pop up. We've got the battery. It's charging because we just installed it. We've already put four four terabyte drives in the system. And so we're gonna we're gonna want to go into this utility zero virtual disk. Hit Control R. It will bring you into this RAID utility. Um, we see our four uh, four terabyte drives that show up as 3.63 in the utility. Uh, that's pretty normal. Um, so basically, to create a RAID config, go up to this LSI Mega RAID. Hit F2. Hit Enter on Create Virtual Disk or Create Virtual Drive. Okay. So once you get into this utility. So we have four drives installed, so it's going to give us all of these options, RAID 0, 1, 5, 6, or 10. And we already went through what these RAIDs do. Um, if you have more questions about that, feel free to comment below. Um, we'll happen to answer those questions. But because we have four drives installed, these are all open. If you only have one drive installed, it's only going to give you the RAID 0 option. If you have two drives, it'll show RAID 1, 3, you'll have RAID 5. And if you have four drives installed, you'll be able to do any of the options just like us. So we are going to choose RAID 10. It'll tab over to the screen. You have to hit spacebar on each drive. Once you do that, it'll bring you down to the basic settings. It'll give us 7.276 uh, terabyte. We're going to name it RAID 10. So let's go back a little bit because we went a little faster. Then we'll tab over to advanced, hit enter, because we want to initialize this disk. So it's going to blow away any data. That's fine. There's no data on these drives anyway because it's a new RAID config. Hit initialize, hit OK, and then now we can escape or hit OK. You tab to get to the next screen. As you can see over here, it says progress 49% of the initialization. So we basically want to let that finish, and it, it should only take, you know, 30 to 60 seconds, possibly less if your virtual disk is smaller than ours. So go ahead and hit OK. And you've just created your RAID configuration. All right, so now we need to get ready to install Windows. So we'll escape, hit OK, Control, Delete to reboot the system. Okay, so here's here's something that's really really important. If you plan to create a RAID volume that's larger than two terabyte, and you're going to use Windows, um, in our case we're using Windows 10, you must at this point go into the F2 setup and change. The system from legacy to UEFI um, and that's that's the only way that it's going to allow us to see uh, more than two terabyte of disk space inside Windows if you don't do this and you leave it as legacy um, it's going to show you the full volume but it won't let you use it It'll only allow you to use two terabyte of that use of that space so uh, this is super important make sure you do this if you're going to create a RAID volume larger than two terabyte and we're going to show you how to do that right now so when your system boots up you can tap F2 in post and that's that black screen um, it takes a little bit of time we didn't want to wait for it so we fast forwarded to it so it'll bring you into this f2 setup as you can see we're using a precision t7910 workstation so typically uh, this would be a system that this card would be installed into 
So we've created our array volume. It's right here, right here adapter. We're going to switch it to UEFI mode and the boot sequence. Let's go back and re look at that again. That's kind of fast. So we'll go to boot sequence, change it to UEFI, click apply, and exit. All right. So if you, again, if your array volume is smaller than two terabyte, you don't have to do that. Uh, but if it is larger than two terabyte, go ahead and do change it to UEFI. Um, then we're going to reboot again after we do that and tap F12 in post. So just tap it as you see that black screen. It's going to look like this, preparing one time boot menu. You'll wait for this. It's going to bring up a boot menu. And in our case, we are going to boot to a DVD, ROM, optical drive, uh, ver uh, copy of Windows 10 Pro 64 bit. Uh, we are doing UEFI. So if you're not doing UEFI, go ahead and boot to this top option, the DVD RW. If you're doing UEFI like us, go ahead and boot to this UEFI DVD RW. It's the same thing. Um, but, and if you are booting to like a jump disc, that will pop up on here as an option. Um, so go ahead and click the proper option. Like I said, we're going to the UEFI DVD RW. Um, it's going to pop up pretty quickly, so you got to stay by. Hit any key on your keyboard to boot to the DVD-ROM. And as you'll see, Windows 10 will start loading. Uh, now, at this point, you'll go through your progressions. We're going to fast forward a little bit. So after we hit OK on a bunch of stuff, it brings us to this unallocated space, which is showing us uh, just under 7.5 terabyte of usable space. And this is all in RAID 10. Okay, so we're, everything's working well. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish the Windows install. And we won't make you wait for that. We're going to fast forward right into Windows 10. And we're just going to verify that everything's working properly. Okay, so we'll right click on our start menu, go to disk management. And we're going to just check on our RAID config. And it's showing up as our local it's disk zero, which is perfect. Uh, we have all of that space usable. Again, if you forgot to switch it to UEFI mode before you loaded uh, Windows 10, It'll show you two terabyte, and then it'll show you a whole bunch of space, but five terabyte that's not usable. Um, so uh, one thing, if you used a different boot device, let's say you booted to like an NVMe drive or a solid state drive, and you were just adding a second volume, so you already have Windows installed, you'll still have to go into this disk management, and it'll show it as a disk one, and then you'll have to manage it and add it as a uh, usable disk. So, But at this point, you've got everything installed. Uh, and everything's working properly. Now you have RAID 10, a bunch of backup storage um, on the LSI 9361-8i controller. Um, so I really appreciate watching this video. Um, if you're curious about additional content, we do tons of videos uh, just like this. Um, go to greenpcgamers.com. Um, if this was a helpful video to you, please subscribe to the YouTube page. That really helps us out. And follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter for free giveaways. Uh, with a lot of our how-to videos, we give away a lot of the extra gear, whether it be graphics cards, you know, memory, NVMe cards, SSDs, a um, bunch of stuff that we accumulate that we do giveaways on. And uh, if you have live hardware questions or you, you want to ask them live, um, go ahead and uh, visit our Twitch page. Um, it's under JBigTicket23. Uh, we also have a Discord that you can get linked to, the Green PC Gamers Discord, through, um, through following on Twitch. Um, bunch of other resources to help you with hardware. Um, thank you so much for watching.